Welcome to Performance Upgrades. I'm your host, Dave Moss. This show is brought to you by sportbikewrench.com, performance parts, and professional advice. We just had our Leo Vince titanium pipe installed, and to maximize performance from that pipe, we need to be able to map the fuel injection. So today's program is all about the Bazaar ZFI installation. What you need to do, step by step. So that way when we go back to Leo Vince, they can go ahead and map the bike and give us the best possible engine management fuel injection map we can get. So, we've got a lot to do, let's get started. First order of business is to remove everything here. We will take the tail off, the seat off, the panels on the tank here will be removed, the tank will be removed, the airbox will be removed, and the throttle bodies we will loosen up so that we can manipulate them by hand to get to the throttle body plug-in sensor. Now anytime you do electrical work on a motorcycle, you need to at least disconnect the battery. My personal preference is to just flat out remove it. That way you won't drop a screwdriver onto the contacts, some mishap will blow a fuse or anything else like that. So you may choose to do it your way, but personally the battery gum makes me feel a lot safer doing electrical work. So make your decision before you progress on with the job. Clearly we have a lot of wiring here. These have been carefully constructed by Bazaar to clip into your OEM fittings, which should make life obviously a lot easier. This piece goes into this ZFI braid, so we know this is the back. So we'll go ahead and unclip this. These components will clip into the mapping hardware, but we're not gonna do that today, so they can stay with the back of the bike. So if we slowly unfurl everything, we know it's coming down this side of the motorcycle. So then we have all kinds of different things here which will plug in. There's four in a line here that has to be fuel injection. Here are some where they're singles. Here is another four in a line which is fuel injection. This will be mounted to the engine as a ground. These are not black, nor are these. That means this must be our throttle position sensor. This particular switch is extremely difficult to get to. So, very, very carefully, you need to grab the fastener and be very patient and manipulate that out. Okay. We don't have much cable here, so we're gonna have to be careful. The bizarre component that clips in to the OEM piece must be identical. In this case, they are. And go ahead and clip that in to the original piece, and it'll snap every time. And then you take the other end from the Bazaz electronic harness, manipulate the harness a little bit to give you some free room, and then go ahead and install this where the OEM clip went. What if we were entering into it? That is probably the hardest part of the job. There are two sets of connectors on these throttle bodies. An upper set, clearly, and a lower set underneath. In our instructions, it says number four is lower injectors with a yellow tag. So start with the difficult stuff first. Lower injectors with a yellow tag. Same principle applies. You take the OEM piece out, plug that in, take the Bazaz piece, and put it in its place. You one injector at a time. So now we'll connect the lower injection piece of the harness. That can be quite a tedious process, especially if the bike's a little older like this is, and it's been ridden quite a bit because the plastic can get hard. So you might have to struggle a little bit in getting good pressure to release 
the injector to then plug into this component tree. At this point, because we're done with all the awkward components, my personal preference now will be to put the throttle bodies back into the boots, secure all the wiring around the throttle bodies, and keep everything secure there. It seems, from what we have left, that there's very little now, which requires us to get in very tight spaces. So I'd much rather put the throttle bodies back in, secure them, and drastically reduce the risk of anything falling into the cylinder head, period. So make sure they're firmly seated, which they are. Push down on the bike. Make sure there's no wobble side to side. We know they're good. Now we'll go ahead and secure them with a the screwdriver. Remember not to over tighten these. When it gets firm, it's pretty much good enough. In a new way. Continuing on with the installation, I'm going to put a towel across the top of the throttle bodies just to make sure nothing can go down in there because one of those inlet valves is open and we don't need to deal with that nightmare. Next in the series, we are going to do the upper injectors, number five. So as this was clearly tagged for the lower, we know that this is correct. The same principle applies. Pull the OEM piece out, one at a time, go down the line and connect them in. Next is our crank position sensor. The Ys are green and black, and so are these. It's very confusing in this engine. When you initially look at it, if you're not thorough, there are two green and, green and blacks here. One with an all green componentry, including the clips, where they plug into each other. And there's another one that's white. So if that helps you, that's good, because they're also both two pin plugs like this. You will have to dig into and under the throttle bodies to get to it, but it's easily accessible from here, so you don't need to keep the throttle bodies off to get to it. There's our switch. Same thing applies, male and female. Clip in. Again, take your time down here. On our harness, we have two things left. This one is our gear position sensor. Again, it's triangulated, and it's right on the crossbar of the frame, so that's nice and handy. So, pull that apart. Fit the Bazaar's component in. Snap it shut, which it does, no problem. Okay, last piece left is to go ahead and make this a good ground mount. There are several eight millimeter bolts down here on the crank case breather area. So I'm gonna take one of those bolts out and put the ground to that. That is a ground connector, so make sure it's torqued correctly. It's really important that that is a good ground. Okay, we have all of our components correctly connected as per the excellent diagram telling you where everything belongs. But now we have wires everywhere. So take some time, figure out your tank area is here where your fuel line is, which we took off. Go ahead, arrange your wiring nicely so everything's tucked out of the way. Use zip ties to secure everything gently. You don't need a, a solid hard connection. And remember that once you tidy this up, the tank has to go down and in and there can be no obstructions. The other piece now is to make sure that we get this routed correctly. The main harness goes up this side. It goes under this bridge piece here, up through the back and in that way. So in just laying this on top, we have some obstructions. 